Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My best friend's wedding was supposed to be a celebration, but she set me up to look like the villain. Now I've lost everyone I care about. I'm 26, female, and I've been tight with my bestie Bella since we were five. Our families were super close, and we were basically inseparable. I went away for college, but Bella and I kept in touch like no biggie. She'd come visit me all the time, and we had the best times. Anyway, while I was in college, I met this guy, Barat. He was smart, good-looking basically the whole package. We hooked up a few times after study sessions, but it was just a friends with benefits thing. We stayed cool, but we didn't really keep in touch after that. Bella and Barat met at a party I threw, and it was like instant fireworks for Bella. She was all over him, and I was totally cool with it. I even told her she had my blessing. A few months later, they were officially a thing, and Bella was over the moon. I was happy for her. After graduation, I moved six hours away for work. Bella and Barat stayed in my hometown. I tried to visit when I could, but life got crazy, so I mostly saw them around the holidays. Last Christmas, Barat proposed to Bella at a party my family hosted. It was super sweet, and everyone was pumped. Fast forward, Bella was all about wedding planning. We had a blast brainstorming ideas. I figured she'd ask me to be her maid of honor, but no. She started screening my calls. I got a save the date card, but no word about being in the wedding. I called her and she said she didn't think I should be in it because I lived too far and it'd be a hassle. Her cousin got the maid of honor spot instead. I was pretty hurt. I thought I was her closest friend. I told her I could make it work, even if it meant flying in for all the events. She was like, A, whatever then she asked if I was bringing someone to the wedding, which was weird because I'd just had a bad breakup. I said I'd probably come alone. She told me she'd keep my plus one open and encouraged me to find a date so I wouldn't be lonely. I thought that was nice of her but reassured her I'd be fine. As the wedding neared, Bella still wasn't really in touch. I saw on social media that she had an engagement party I wasn't invited to. It stung, but I figured we were drifting apart. About six weeks before the wedding, Bella called and asked if I could step in as a last-minute bridesmaid since one dropped out. I was thrilled and agreed right away. She told me the bridal party would be in white, and she and Barrett would be in black. I thought it was a quirky touch. Totally Bella. She even approved a white slip dress I had and tagged it with a thumbs up. On the wedding day, I showed up early, in sweats with my dress in a bag. Everything seemed fine. We were having fun getting ready with champagne, but then Bella told everyone to get dressed for photos. I went to change and tweak my makeup. When I came out, all the other bridesmaids were in blue dresses, and I was the only one in white. My stomach dropped. Bella was in a bathrobe and looked at me like I was the worst. Her cousin came over, yelling at me about being jealous, in love with Barat, and making the day about me. I was totally blindsided and couldn't even defend myself. Bella said it was time for me to leave. I was heartbroken and bolted, leaving everything behind. My phone blew up with messages accusing me of being bitter and jealous. Even my mom texted, saying she was disappointed and we'd talk when they got home. I ended up getting drunk to cope. When my parents got back, the conversation was a mess. My mom didn't believe me at first, but when I showed her the text where Bella approved my dress, she finally got it. Turns out, Bella had been spreading lies about me being unstable and in love with Barat. She'd convinced everyone I was crazy and made up stories about me. My mom was horrified when she saw the truth, and she called my dad to explain. Now, my reputation's in tatters. A few people believe me, like my parents and one of the other bridesmaids, but most think I'm the bad guy. My life feels like a wreck and I don't know how to fix it. I'm not sure if I'm the asshole here, but I really need some outside perspective. So, people have been wondering why my mom didn't reach out or confront me. It's because I'm an apostate. I left the religion my parents raised me in last year. Bella, my ex's sister, is still deep into it, so she's got a lot more clout in their eyes. On top of that, my political views are different too. From my parents' perspective, I'm a sinner who's capable of anything because I turned my back on biblical principles. The whole community probably thinks the same about me. Even with all this, I still tried to keep some relationship with my parents. I'm an only child, and they're my only family. But it was tough. For example, I didn't share much about my breakup because I knew it just confirmed their worst fears about me. It's also why I haven't been home in the past year. I thought the wedding drama would push my relationship with my parents even further apart. But surprisingly, it's done the opposite. My parents' strong opinions seemed more about how my leaving the church would reflect on them rather than about me personally. Now that the community has turned against me and the worst has happened, They've rallied around me. So, in a weird way, this awful event has been a blessing. My parents have chosen to stand by me, and that's made things feel a lot better. We had a great holiday together, and the awkwardness from the past year seems to have faded. After the wedding mess, I did what people suggested and sent out a screen recording of my texts with Bella. It showed everything I'd been saying to counter her claims that I was unstable. I explained my side, and it ended up splitting people into three groups. 
First, my high school friends, most of them are religious and heavily influenced by Bella. None of them took my side, except for one bridesmaid who had already reached out to me. Then there are my college friends who are closer to me. None of them had heard Bella's side, so they accepted the evidence right away. A few even told me they never really liked Bella and that she'd been badmouthing me behind my back. This was news to me but a relief because these are the relationships I wanted to keep. The college friends closer to Barrett didn't really care. They're classic due to bros who avoid drama, so I wasn't surprised they weren't diving into the details. No hostility from them, but no support either. I can deal with that. As for Bella's nuclear and extended family, I've pretty much given up on them. When I was back for Christmas, I tried to visit Bella's parents, who were like family to me too. They didn't even open the door. I left a letter in their mailbox, but it was ignored. Overall, things have settled into a new normal. I've been focusing on my life, my work, and trying to move forward. I went home for the holidays and just hung out with my parents. Life was okay. Then, on January 1st, I logged into an old email account I hadn't used in a while to reset a password. While cleaning up my digital life, I found an email from my ex with the subject line I wouldn't seeing that was like getting hit by a ton of bricks. It's still tough to talk about. Matthew, my ex, was great at first, but things turned dark after our first year together. He got super controlling dictating what I wore, ate, who I talked to, and what I posted on social media. He tore me down bit by bit. When I found out he was cheating, that was my wake-up call, and I got out. Breaking up with him was a nightmare. He refused to let me go, especially since we were living together. Things got worse, he became a full-on stalker. He put tracking software on my phone, bugged my car, and even had people at my job reporting back to him. It was like living in a nightmare. I couldn't hide anywhere. He even held my dog hostage. The police were useless because he was never physically violent and was careful not to leave written threats. I was stuck in a hellish loop of fear, constantly worried he'd show up again. I changed everything my job, phone number, address, email, and made all my social media profiles private. But there was one place I forgot to block him. I didn't think about the old email account, and that's where he sent his I win email the day after the wedding. He bragged about how he'd become close with Bella after we broke up. He called himself the architect of my demise and said he'd fueled Bella's paranoia about me and Barrett. Leading them to plan my punishment, he said losing everyone important in my life was what I deserved. And then, in a twisted move, he suggested we get back together or else face more unfortunate things, yeah, he's a delusional jerk. Reading that email was like a freight train hitting me. I fell apart for a few days but my mom helped me get through it. She reminded me that things would be okay and that I'm stronger than I know. I was worried about what I'd do next, but talking with her helped me realize that I'm not powerless. I have some closure now, even though it doesn't fix everything. I'm doing my best to move forward. I've got support from my family, and I'm slowly rebuilding my life. I'll never understand why people act the way they do, but I'm focusing on staying strong and positive. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.